Okay, you guys, um, we're back here and we're gonna start up Riptide Man. Um, I accidentally booted up the stage and I was gonna do, you know, I'm so used to doing my regular interest, I just head in and start mid stage and I got a little bit trigger happy and jumped in. <laughs> you know, greeting you guys here, so yeah. I didn't get past the item load out here. No worries. But yeah, Riptide is probably gonna be a very good choice here. I imagine he's strong as the Inferno Man stage. So yeah, that's gonna work out just aces, I hope. You see here, yeah, everything's on perfectly the recording. And pick up that, and that, and that. Concrete, and I guess we're just gonna be playing as Mega Man in this one. Yeah. Why the heck not? We're just gonna go in a cycle here. And we'll probably go with... Bass or... Well, maybe we'll go with Proto Man again in the next one. He's kind of fun to play around with. And I really like the visuals here too. I never uh, commented on the visuals in... The Fane Man stage, but those were very nice as well. Very... Very well... Rough. Well, around, very, well, very well put together. Probably the nicest one so far in the series. This one is definitely looking like a top contender as well. Hmm. And it's always interesting having these submarine guys. We don't see them too often, actually. Probably one of the least used enemies overall in the game, I would imagine. And holy crap, I was gonna kill the dude there, but yeah, <laughs> you saw what happened. I totally botched it. Now... Yeah, nothing too bad. I'm sure it's gonna get a lot harder from here on out. Whoa. <laughs> that was close. Hmm. Okay, so that's interesting. We gotta watch out. They're coming in from above. Wow. <laughs> yeah, okay, so... Oh! Yo, 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 okay, okay, okay. Um, I hope that thing respawns. Or else I might be bone. Well, it did respawn, and holy crap, dude. You really gotta pay attention in this one, huh? Well, that was a nice strategy. You just bait him out, and then you go. That guy down there really wants to get me. You know what? Yeah, that's what you get. Hmm. Hmm. Well, the little froggies took themselves out. Very, very nice. And let's see. Yeah, nice. Some health. Awesome. And wow, okay. They were lined up perfectly. Now, the small frogs only do one health of damage, so I'm not gonna be too worried about them. Oh, dude, that was sneaky. That was sneaky. Hmm. I didn't honestly even get to see what was in that room. Like, huh. I assume there was an E tank there, so we gotta be ready on the next attempt here. I'm trying to play it back in my head, but it, <laughs> it's not coming to me. Uh. Well, whoops. Oh, little fries. Get out of here. Oh, that's going up. Ooh. And this is going up as well. And. Nice. Okay, yeah, there was an. Oh my god, those are royals! Those are also our going platforms. Jesus. Well, I'm just gonna start doing some damage boosting here. It's when I get back. Oh, dude, dude, the ring boomerang is so nice at taking out the frogs. It's actually insane. Yeah, I love it. Well, <laughs> even. Oh, yeah, yeah. With that said, we still gotta be a little bit 
careful with our weapons here. Yeah, I love the weapon boomerang. It's like Mega Man 4's version of the Metal Blade or Mega Man 3's version of the Shadow Blade, although, you know, it can only go out forward, but it deals massive damage uh, uh, and it stacks on top of them, so it hits multiple times. Kind of like the Arc Cutter. Yeah. Okay, can we stop dying here now? I'm gonna go for the E-Tank once more. I think I can do it. That is a very interesting room, I would say, though. Like, yeah, very nicely implemented there. Let's see. This jump is very nerve-wracking. Okay, 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 okay. Nice. One at a time. Ooh. That was slick landing. Okay, now, how do we do this? Do we just make a long ass jump, I think? Grab the tank, and then we quickly gotta get out of there. Also, I wonder, like, can this not go up if you use this? I'm not sure I wanna find out in this particular <laughs> instance here. Here's what we're gonna do, though. Nice. Dude, that was quite clean. <gasps> oh, I forgot about that one. <laughs> hmm. Well, we should be gonna do. Take you out. Yeah, this either is a prime example on what the gyro is good for, like taking out far away enemies. And we could actually just do the same <laughs> for this dude. And I think we're gonna refill this, even though I put the Rim Boom Boomerang in higher regard than the Gyro. I still think that it can have its nice advantages here, like... The Ring Boomerang might have higher damage, but if there are very annoying enemies at certain spots, I would definitely be very happy to have, or make sure that the Gyro is all filled up, all prepped, you know. <laughs> oh, oh, he's got me caught! <laughs> oh, I got a wound. And this is a very nice looking room. Uh, I quite like the cover combinations in here. And very nice checkpoint. And now we're gonna have rain. We have tons of different stuff in this level, actually. Huh. Rip. Hurry, hurry. Oh, okay, well... Yeah, now we're just gonna... <laughs> yeah, I'm just awaiting the up and down going platforms, and yeah, sure, here, sure enough, here they are. Yeah, like, this level very set up a whole lot, which is definitely oh, very nice. Okay, here we're just gonna use this Ace's trick and slide off here. Yeah, don't even jump, just slide off. Slide it in. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, nobody's gonna get that reference. Oh yeah. <laughs> Let's just get out before the frog kills us. Okay, oh, that almost got me. I was about to go, go down there, but yeah, they seem like they collide with each other. And thank you. No, we don't have to get that one dangerous self glow. And please, suicide, thanks. Hmm. Ooh, okay, the rain is going the other way here. Oh god, no. <laughs> this is gonna be terrible. Oh, what am I doing? Oh my god, I should not have jumped that early. That was just very poor decision making. Wow. I should have died. <laughs> and I'm just gonna boost out. Yeah, it's so nerve wracking going against currents like this, or against the rain against the current. Huh? And false jump here. Yeah, you gotta pay attention here as well. Try and be level-headed. Nice. 
Nice. Okay. <sighs> dude, that was a scary penguin. Holy balls, dude. Okay. Take it easy. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. And another frog. Yeah, just get out of here, you. Is this already the boss? Yeah, I think so. This might have been the easiest level. Oh yeah, for sure. Only 11 minutes I'm up to at this point. Yeah, a very easy stage, but a very fun one as well. And I don't foresee myself having too many issues with Pump Man, but you never know with me. You just don't. <laughs> It's actually designed around only having the... well, it's actually... Ah, the boss fight is actually designed around only having the singular... What am I trying to say here? <laughs> Mega Man is only meant to be fighting him with the regular pea shooter anyway, so it's a fair fight, I guess is what I'm trying to say here. Yeah, just trying to come up with commentary, it's not always the easiest. Well, and you know what? Let's just for the heck of it see if we do have his weakness here. Oh, you know what? You could actually. Okay, let's do some awesome. Something else in here. Let's wait for the water and. Boom! One shot. <laughs> He's actually very weak to the concrete, that dude. So very weak. That was awesome, yeah. The bubble shield just works against him. Well, yeah, I only did that because I thought I had that in the bag. I mean, I even had the E-Tank. There was no way I would not have been able to beat that boss sooner or later, even if I had died there. That was just... Yeah, I just knew I had it. But yeah, both Riptide Man and Fane Man had excellent visuals. Riptide Man was probably a bit brighter, which was very nice. And we're gonna press download here, get it onto our list so we can make the thumbnail. And yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that will be it for that, I guess. I assume in the next episode, you know, since we got Riptide Man, how the hell could I not do Inferno Man then? Like, yeah, it's, it's a given. Inferno Man, then Time Warp Man, and that's it for the regular bosses, I believe. No, Chemical Man. Chemical Man could also be worked to Inferno Man, actually. Yeah. Okay, so we have three more regular stages to go through, and then it's on to the vital stages, and I think that after we have done everything, we might go and do the elastic <laughs> man stage. But yeah. <laughs> so yeah, thank you guys so very much for watching, and hopefully you will have a very nice day. See you next time.